it is done when Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai says it is done. First and foremost, I give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Rakatho Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Bahasham Raka Kwadash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to our sincere brothers that goes out on the highways and byways risking their lives and teaching his truth and shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters seeking and worshiping Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai to the best of their ability shalom kwam yashorala what I want to speak about today brothers and sisters is about this new rulership to come this new kingdom that is coming it is not an illusion right is not an illusion it's for real it is true Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai has promised us this new kingdom Right, this is Esau's time to rule. But this is a known fact. Prophecy. That there's going to be a new kingdom. A new rulership. That we'll be living in. All praises and glory to Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Is not an optical illusion. Right? It's all spiritual. In hope and in faith. Belief. Trust. That Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai is going to set up that new kingdom for us. It's going to happen. It's impossible that it won't happen. I repeat that it is impossible that this new kingdom is not going to come. And Yahweh Basham Yahshai never lies. Never ever lies. Luke twenty three forty three. I start at forty two. And he said unto Yahweh Shai, Lord, remember me when thou comest into the kingdom. Okay? So therefore, the way he's speaking, as he knows that there's a new kingdom to come, a new paradise to come. And it will come. And he had faith when he was on the cross and he turned to our Yahweh Shai and, and said, please, you know, favor me. Okay? Remember me. 43. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, verily, <coughs> and that word verily means truly. So, in other words, saying, mark my words, listen to this truth. Listen what I'm going to say. It's a must. It's going to happen. Verily I say unto thee. The day shall thou be with me in paradise. Okay. Paradise. It's a must. There is this paradise to come brothers and sisters. That's why we have to hold on. Fight that pain. It's painful. It is pain, pain, pain. Every single day. That's why we have to fight for that pain. Right? Fight that pain and endure. Because this kingdom is true. This is a prophecy. This is a known fact. True prophecy. Right. So, so let me go to Numbers. 
Numbers 14 and 8. All right? It says, let me read from what for, let me uh, Numbers 14 verse 7 to 8. Let me read from 7. And they spake unto all the company of the children of Israel. Right? So it's all about the Israelites. Yes, Yahweh Shem Yahshai's chosen people, saying the land which we passed through to the to the search to search it is an exceeding good land. Verse eight: If the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahshai delight in us, then He will bring us into His land and give it us a land which floweth. With milk and honey. Now, if you just serve Yahweh Basham Yahshai, all he's saying, you know, is that if you serve him, right, that land, that special land that we are fighting for, this is an evil land we are on now. We are fighting for that new land, right? And that land that the Most High has promised, right? It will be filled with milk and honey. That is the new kingdom. Okay? That is the new kingdom that we are fighting for. And it's a true thing. Not an, an illusion. Right? This picture here in front. Right? Is an optical illusion. You see two faces in it. Right? So you're confused. This new kingdom is not to do with confusion. Distraction. It's going to be one beautiful, straightforward kingdom. A beautiful kingdom and it's beautiful to just it's still it's hard but we have to wait for it right wait patiently for it right but if you just only serve your how about sham your shy right and what he said again something about uh, if the Lord delight in us right then he will bring us into the land so therefore it's all about pleasing our Father, our King of Kings, Lord of Lords, right? It's all about serving and pleasing, make him, make him happy, make him smile for us. He will say, okay, you've done this for me, right? I will bless you and, and treat you for this. And this is, and this is what you're going to get, the land of milk and honey. Right, so let me go to... Um, Matthew 6 31 6 31 to 34 therefore take no thought saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or wherewithal shall we be clothed for after all these things do the Gentiles seek for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. We need this paradise. We need this new kingdom. We need this new this this new rulership, right? We need comfort. We need rest, right? We need happiness. We need joy, right? We need to have our children that grow up, eh? And and we see the beauty of our kids flourishing and happy, and joyful. Right? Which makes us feel joyful also. Right? Knowing, Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. He knows our heart. He knows our heart. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. People take this for granted. First come, first serve. So basically, your first get seek 
right? Seek Yahweh Basham Yashai and all things will be added. But people, we were once there, don't get me wrong, but it's the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yashai. Put this spirit in us for us to, um, to for us to, um, you know, to serve him. It's all about Yahweh Basham Yashai. At the, at the beginning, at the middle, at the end of the day, it's all about Yahweh Basham Yashai. Right? Working in you. So you have to praise him when he does that. Right? When he brings you back into this truth. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the, the, the morrow. Therefore just let go, let Yahweh Basham Yashai take over. Trust in him. We are all weak. We're in the flesh. But we have to just let go and trust in him. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself, right? So it's a different day. Don't worry about today. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about the past. It's all about Yahweh Basham Yashai. Let he, he do the worrying for us. Right? Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Alright? So do not worry. Do not worry, brothers and sisters. Because this kingdom is true. This kingdom is coming. Alright? Let me get Ecclesiasticus 27, 1 to 5. Right? Ecclesiasticus 27, 1 to 5. Many have sinned for, the, for a small matter. And he that seeketh for abundance will turn his eyes away. As a nail st sticketh fast between the joinings of the stones so doth sin stick close between buying and selling unless a man hold him, himself diligently that's what it is be diligent to Yahweh Basham Yahushai in the fear of the Lord that's all about the fear his house shall soon be overthrown as when one sitteth with a sieve the refuse remaineth so the filth of man in his talk verse 5 the furnace proverb sorry slakia verse 5 the furnace proveth the potter's vessel so the trial of man is in his reasoning so if you want to get into this kingdom you have to fight continuously fight is not easy Right? I have to fight every day, struggling in the flesh. I'm going off every day, every every second of the day, every minute of the day, I'm going off. And you know what? I'm fed up. I'm fed up of going off. I'm fed up in in not pleasing Yahweh Bar Sham Yahushai as much as I want to. Alright? So you have to work for this kingdom. You have to go through the suffering. Right? When you are lowly, you have to give the most high praises. Or it just seems like it's, nothing's happening. But we just can't let go. We have to hold on to our power. Right? He made us and he told us in his scriptures. Right? Brothers and sisters, listen to this, right? When you follow me, you're going to feel low. When you follow me, you're going to feel pain. Right? Sometimes your spirit will go up. Sometimes it will go down. That's where the balance comes in. All right? It's not an easy walk. But the prophecy is that there is going to be a new kingdom, a new rulership, a new heaven. Right? So we have to fight, fight for it to the bitter end and hope and pray that the Most High is dealing with you. So with that, I give all praises and glory to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And it's not an illusion, right? It is for real. This new kingdom is for real. Wake up, brothers and sisters, and repent. Shalom.